Welcome to another week here at Tutoring. We are working on the floor in the loft and then potentially, depending on what time it is, we might even get to doing some of the wall. So the first thing we have to do up here in the loft, you can tell the new pieces that we put in, the new joists, are not as thick as the old ones. So therefore, we have to put a shim piece all over this area that has the new parts. So we have to cut it to piece and then just fit it in right in that section so that we can put the real floor right on top of it, uh, top of it and it being completely flat. So the next step here for this flooring is we need to mount ourselves some support. So some extra joists that we're putting on. It's gonna be just two by four. We just need to strengthen this area here when you put your foot there. So we need to support that. And then also on each side of the wall beam, we need to add one too. Cause there's nothing we can put or we can nail the floor back down.
think it's really coming together. So one of the hardest things with this floor is that unfortunately the old and the new beams it's not all completely flat to each other so I had as you can tell in the footage I had to hit some of that some of those boards together and obviously it would have been nice to have a second person but since I was alone today I just had to use some heavy objects like the old uh, uh, chim chimney pipes the clay pipes to just hold down one of the sides while I knock the other one in and then vice versa knock the other side in all the way too so that was the hardest part and just getting it all in there is a small little piece over there about four or five inches that I don't have uh, flooring on yet because I just ran out I didn't have a wide enough piece to do at the end and I didn't want to just cut a full length uh, full width piece because obviously it's expensive material um, I think it's like $70 a sheet like that so I didn't want to cut just for just for a two three foot long um, section and most likely what's going to happen is we will have the the AC unit have some ducting going around um, Elias's side here anyways so probably we will have some kind of wall that uh, closes this up uh, yeah closes it up so we will not have op uh, this area completely open and therefore if um, I don't have a floor all the way into the corner I think that's sufficient and if it is if it comes to it we will obviously just put another short piece in I have some small pieces but I just didn't finish that I also will do uh, flooring all the way around just to finish it out uh, but I want to clean out the rafters first before I do that so otherwise if I put that on it's going to be really hard to get the rafters fully cleaned out one of the things I'm looking forward to in the near future is the temperature change as fall starts and we might get temperatures in the 60s 70s instead of in the 80s 90s and especially up in the attic uh, it's probably even 100 or even more with just heat rising and um, staying up here in the attic so getting cooler weather would be really nice one of the projects in the next few weeks that we have to do is we have to cut down all this brush around also we cut the brush that is growing up on the side of the house we have to cut that all off because obviously the roofers will have to put some scaffolding up and they would they want to have access to it so all of that stuff has to go on all the sides so they can put a safe scaffolding up to fix the roof well i think this is it for this week a little shorter video but we had a lot of stuff going on julie had a art show yesterday so i was watching the kids and today sunday i only got the floor done um, I mean we got the entire floor done so that's the nice thing and then next week we'll work on the wall right here that goes down into Elias's loft so the kids can't fall down we have some plans I know somebody someone uh, one of you asked what are we gonna do about privacy when Elias is a little older um, like when he's a teenager and he wants to have a little bit more privacy in his room well first of all um, obviously that's still quite a ways down the road and then what the other thing that we're gonna do is the wall that we're putting up we are making it so that it can easily be changed we don't have to do a whole new remodel just to finish the outside and the inside of that wall so that we can really separate it from um, from being a kid's loft to just really a separated room at that point and then really at, he, he would have the privacy at that point because then it's just a continuous wall that goes all the way up and nothing else so that's kind of the plan for that and we obviously want to make the wall secure so the kids can't fall down 
um, but we still want it so that the kids can play maybe have some windows that are down so they can still see down but they can also maybe potentially throw things down maybe put like a little lift or something